Okay, the 79 Trans Am. Getting ready for second coat of primer. Put the first coat on. I've blocked it, found the highs and the lows. I'm gonna hit it with the second coat now. And hopefully when I block it the second time, get a little better uh, job out of it. And then she'll be ready for paint. Primer has been put on. I've got two coats on there. Now I'll let it dry. Once it's dry, I'll hit it with some guide coat. I'll block it again, and hopefully, if I like it, I'll uh, throw some color on there. If not, I'll run the process one more time. I'll hit it with primer, fill the low spots, and go from there. Now that the primer is dry, I've gone ahead, throwing a little bit of black on there. That's just gonna be a guide coat. I'm gonna scratch it up, see what I get. Hopefully, if I like it, I'll be ready for paint. If not, you get more primer and uh, more blocking. Went ahead, I reblocked the car. Uh, now that it's blocked, I like the way it looks. I went ahead and I hit it with an even coat of primer now. Now that it's all primed, I'll take some uh, 600 paper to it, scratch it all up, and I'll get it ready for paint. After I scratch it, I'll jam it, and I'll wait from there. Okay, we're a lot closer. I've jammed the entire car. The usual areas, trunk, bottom portions, around the wheel wells, doors, bottom of the rockers, bottom of the fenders, inner fenders. I've actually put a space in between the nose. Both sides have cracked it so I can get paint in the gaps. And now I'll hit it with some gray scuff pad when I get a chance, once it dries up a little bit, and then she'll be ready for paint. Okay, what you're seeing, I'm just going over the final. Attacking it for one last time. Car's ready to go. Floor's good. Lights are on. Place is warm, so let's throw some paint on this bad boy. Okay, I've got some color on it. Unfortunately, it has some dirt, some issues. So I got a really big run in this thing. Right there. I got five coats of clear. That'll come right out. Now, let me show you here on the paint. That's the paint on the car itself. I mean, it's looking good. Once it dries, I'll be able to wet sand it, get those runs out of there. This door also has some issues. I splattered some water up on the door as I was painting it. But uh, hopefully with the buffer it'll come out. That's it. Well, it's looking good for now, so... That's the plastic you see there, sorry. Let's go from there. I also had an issue where... Uh, right here, I ended up hitting that with the hose but hey it is what it is all right for now we're done it's got color i'll let it do its thing dry off throw some heat in here and uh in a couple of days we'll be able to get this thing wet sanded and hopefully i won't have to buff through the clip All right, next day, heat's been on, paint's been curing. It's looking pretty good, good, good shine to it. As you can see, Let's get your video here. But uh, that's a reflection off there. I did get some pretty big runs in there. Right there, wet sandals out, not really worried about them. Got uh, dust on the trunk, door opened up, but not a big deal. Like I said, I'll just wet sand it out. Uh, other than that, Everything looks good. The fenders came out well. Nose. 
this door here unfortunately uh the wind came down knocked the cup down it was on the shelf here hit the water and i got water marks in there but i put extra clear hopefully that all wet sand out and once again i'm consistent got runs on the rear quarter here no big deal wet sand them out go from there other than that i'm pretty happy with the way it looks out the shine's really nice the depth's there i mean you can really see it this uh me on the other side of the camcorder and that's the plastic behind you as you see in there and that's a reflection off the paint right there as you can see so it's pretty good now hopefully once i get it wet sand and buffed it'll really come out because i suck at it so uh hopefully i don't screw up the paint job if i do not a big deal i just go back re-clear it spend more money Okay, ready to roll. Stop by adding some color to all the seam lines on this thing. Be it for the first coat, put two or three more coats on there depending on what I have to paint, then I'll clear.